two sliders. So I have my two socks today. Um, and uh, yeah, so come lie on your back. Come, come. My microphone. Great, come. So lying on your back, your knees are bent, your feet are flat on the floor. And just begin by swaying your knees from side to side. And as you do that, just hear the deep of your belly, the traveling of the pelvis, your knees, your ankles, and the whole of you. Nice. So feet are hip distance apart, push your feet down and then lift your hips up off the floor. And then lower your bum down, draw the right knee in towards you, squeeze it in. Lower your right foot down, lift your hips towards the ceiling. You can reach your arms up towards the ceiling and then bend, drop your bum, bend your left knee and squeeze it up towards you. Just like we're doing a walk. So lift your hips, drop it down, draw your right knee in, lift your hips, drop it down, left knee in. One more time each side. Lift your hips, really squeezing into it, pushing into it. Draw your right knee towards you. Lift your hips, squeezing your bum. Left knee towards you. Nice, next time we're gonna lift our leg, our leg is gonna be straight. So lifting your right leg up, hold on to your right leg, pull it down towards you. Bend your knee, lift your hips up off the floor. Dropping down, draw your left knee, uh, draw the left leg, whole leg towards you. Lift your hips. Right leg. Lift your hips. Left leg, lengthening long, pull it down towards you. Lift your hips. Nice. Last time we do this, you're going to lift both legs off the floor. Pull both legs towards you, bend your knees, lift your hips. Both legs towards you, lift your hips. One last time, both legs towards you, and then lift your hips. Nice, pause on the lifting of your hips, squeeze your bum, draw your knees slightly together, Reach your fingers up towards the ceiling and just breathe into your belly. Nice, lower your bum all the way down. So if you don't have sliders, then you can just step your leg in the direction we're talking about. So I'm gonna stick my socks on. So yeah, great, keep it, keep sending pictures of the things you're sliding on. <laughs> it was very funny yesterday. So then I'm gonna roll up my mat a bit so that I have space, so that I'm, I have space down at the end of where, where my mat usually is, is where I'm gonna work rather than towards you, okay? So I have space to stretch my legs out long, but my bum is still on my yoga mat, okay? And then just come to lie down all the way, land on the floor. So my two feet, a bit like how we just were a moment ago, feet are flat, feet are hip distance apart, and then slide your right leg long and then draw it back in. So if you're not sliding, then just stretch your right leg long and then draw it in. If you're sliding, try and push your heel into the floor as you do this. So you're just stretching out one leg, slide it back in, stretching out the other leg, hmm, slide it back in. One leg and the other leg, nice. So try and slide your right foot to the right, back to center, same foot, right foot to the right, center, right foot to the right, and then start to circle your right leg. So it goes out to the right, straightens out, comes back to center, bends, and drawing a big circle with the right leg. 
I'm noticing, can I draw my navel towards my spine? Can I engage and connect into my abdominal muscles? I'm gonna push my fingertips into the floor where my fingertips are standing. And so that's gonna really stabilize my torso. Change the circle. Keep pushing into your fingertips, stabilizing the abdominal muscles. Change legs. So draw the left leg to the left, back to center, left, center, left, and then straighten your leg. And draw it back. I had to make some space for myself. And so keep pushing your fingertips down into the floor and make the circle as big as you can towards the left. That's the bit that is the trickiest part, I feel, that I'll make the circle smaller towards the left because it, it gets, I'm near the end of my range very fast. Whereas just stretching my leg out seems pretty easy. I just feel that, change direction. How do you lean into the left direction as you do this? Nice, we're gonna try both legs together. So stretch both legs long and bend your knees up. Pretty straightforward, long, bend your knees up. Bring both feet wide and back together. And both feet wide and back together. You see where we're going. Great, wide circles. So again, as my feet go wide, I can feel like gnarly. <laughs> I met somebody in the shop yesterday over in Clark's and Barna, change direction. She's like, yeah, you know, can't say this is my favorite month. <laughs> it's so wonderful. I love the way everybody turns up and just gives it a go. Uh, well, I'm loving this, I have to say. <laughs> so come back to center. Push your right foot into the, uh, both, both, both feet into the floor and lift your bum just a little bit off the floor. Now straighten your right leg long and pull it in. So my bum is now floating off the floor, right leg long. Draw it in, draw a circle with your bum floating in the air. And then circle in the other direction. So this is a new movement for us. So we're checking out how do we do this movement? Nice, other side, left leg lengthens, bends it up, lengthens, bend it up and circle. Again, how do you circle out to the side, a little bit bigger? <laughs> and change direction. I have no idea if we can do this movement. We're gonna try both together. Try stretching out both legs together and then make a circle. And you have to lift your bum for as much of the circle as you can. I think this could be really tra uh, <laughs> tramp <laughs> cramp territory. Let's just feel that. And then in the other direction. Oh dear God. <laughs> So my hamstrings are telling me that this is really hard. You just feel that in you. Maybe you stay with your bum on the floor for it. Oh, God. <laughs> Come back to center. Draw the right leg up. Stretch it out long. Nice. And draw the left leg out long. Stretch it long. Nice. So get rid of the mat that's underneath you, put it back into long again. You can take your sliders off. Nice. Come lie on your back. Cool, draw the right knee up towards you and then rock over towards the left with this and back up to center. Rock over towards the left as far as you can with that right knee and come back up and just lean into that sensation. So for me, there's this amazing wrapping of the right thigh from the knee all the way into where the muscles come into my spine, pushing my right elbow down a little bit more, keeping my shoulders steady. Nice, one more time. Nice. Next time your knee is over towards the left, then reach your right hand over towards the left. Reach your right foot behind you. Come into propellers. So right elbow back, right knee up. 
right leg back, right leg, right hand over towards the left. So you're just gliding into propellers. I really like keeping my eyes towards the left hand as I move. It gives my head and neck a place to be. Otherwise, I feel a little bit like my head is just traveling around. It doesn't really know where to be. Next time you draw your knee up, pause. Oh, reach your right arm super long and squeeze your right knee more and more towards your left shoulder. And then reach more and more out into that right arm. Your head is turned towards the left hand. Draw the right shoulder down towards the floor. Now just come back to center. Pick up your bum, drop it down. Mm -hmm. Shimmy your shoulders so you feel straight. Other side, draw the left knee up towards you. Keeping your elbows braced into the floor, rock your left knee down towards the right and then back up to center. Your right elbow is really important here. Down and back to center. And again, I'm feeling this wrap of the from the right knee all the way back into the right hip. How do you sink a bit deeper in wellness? Nice. One more time. When your knee goes over towards the right, pause there. Stretch your right arm long. Look down at your right arm and begin propellers. So reach your right hand, left hand, sorry, towards your right. Bring your left foot back. Begin to glide. As your elbow, elbow goes back, your knee comes forward. And I just feel that in the deep of your spine, like you're massaging out the entire length of your spine which is what you're doing. Often I feel the, the real deep reach, reaching of my hand forward soften something in my rib cage, uh, in that under shoulder as well. Nice, one more time. Knee comes up, leg goes back. And next time your knee is forward, pause there. Stretch your left arm long behind you. Squeeze your left knee up as close to your chest as you can and then try and draw your left shoulder to the floor. How do you draw your rib cage backwards? How you really sink your weight into the left shoulder? Nice, come back to center. So you can do this with weights or you don't have to bother with your weights. So I'll show you how. So two weights straight up towards the ceiling. Let your right knee come up towards your right elbow. And then zoomies, stretch your right leg long. Your arms stay where they are. Bend your knee. And then stretch your leg long. Bend your knee. Stretch your leg long. Bend your knee. Stretch your leg long. So keep your leg stretched long and just bend your elbows so that your weights come to the floor above your head. Stretch your leg, elbow to your knee. As your leg lengthens long, bring your weights to the floor above your head with your elbows bending. Bend your knee, bend your elbows. Bend your knee, bend your elbows. One more time. Bend your knee, bend your elbows. Great, come all the way back. Arms are straight up towards the ceiling. Draw your left knee up towards your elbow. Stretch your left leg long. Bend your knee. Stretch your left leg long. Bend your knee. Nice, and again, long. Bend your knee. So, as you stretch your leg long, bend your elbow so your weights come to the floor above your head. Stretch your arms long, bend your knee. So as your leg straightens, your elbows bend. As your knee bends, your arms straighten. Feeling your body. If for any reason, always with the weights, you feel, oh, my shoulder doesn't like this one, then don't do it. Really decide 
based on the sensations that you're feeling, what's wellness for you? Come all the way back to center. Keep your arms up towards the ceiling with your weights. Sway your knees from side to side. All right, lift your feet off the floor. Sway your knees from side to side. And as you do it, do a little bit of zombie. So zombie is where your arms move in the opposite direction from your legs. So I just feel that, how do you zombie from right to left? Maybe you go a bit deeper. Zombie. With zombie, I really decide what I want to do with my head. Sometimes I follow the weights. Sometimes I just keep my head center. See which one suits your neck. Nice. So keep your feet in the air and you're going to roll a bit or very over onto your right elbow and then reach your left hand forward in front of you towards your feet. Then coming back, lean over onto the left elbow, reach your right hand forward, back. So as I go back, my elbows bend close to me and then I reach, bend. Reach, bend, reach, one more time, and reach, nice, come all the way back, ditch your weights, get rid of them, pause, hands to your heart or to your torso, just let that settle. Nice. So lift both hands up towards the ceiling and bend both knees so your calves are parallel to the floor and your knees are directly over your hips. Pull your deep lower belly down into the floor. Bring your fingertips to the floor and push them down. Stabilize and then begin to touch your toe to the floor. Come back up. Toe to the floor. Come back up. You can begin at any stage to lengthen your leg long. Keep drawing the deep lower belly backwards. Really feeling that sense of your pelvis, the lower back, the waist is stabilizing. Nice. So bring your right toes to the floor and then bring your right foot as wide to the right as you can. Like you draw a line to the right, come back up. Left toes down, draw a line to the left, come back up. So you're keeping the same attitude, pushing your fingertips down, but you're just traveling your toes to the left and then toes to the right. So we're gonna try it. Bring your let, right toes to the floor and then draw a circle with your right toes on the floor. Keep your deep lower belly steady. Keep pushing your fingertips into the floor. Change the circle. Make the circle as big as you can in wellness. Change, left toes to the floor, draw a circle. I wonder is it, yeah, try floating your foot off the floor or try keeping your foot on the floor. I think I prefer it off the floor actually. So circle like your foot is on the floor but it's just floating off. Nice, <laughs> feet to the floor. And just think of the things that you're grateful for. I got a beautiful text yesterday, say that somebody was on the beach. Well, they started out with, there's so many things to be grateful for. She said, when I was walking on the beach and I hunkered down to pick up a shell, I realized I could hunker even further. <laughs> so lovely. Things you're grateful for. Name three things in your head that you're grateful for. Really acknowledging them right now. Nice. So stay here if you wish. 
Maybe with your legs long, maybe with your knees bent. Let's we'll see what you do. Nice guys. Very lovely, very sweet. Um, I'll do something about my lighting. This is what this thing happens. When I start getting natural light behind me, something starts changing in my settings. And I start, yeah, it's hard to see me sometimes. But anyways, I'll work it out. So great, be well, be awesome. Um, it's uh, Sunday here in Ireland. Uh, I think it's Sunday everywhere in the world, except for in Australia. I think it's, no, it's Sunday night there. Um, so yeah, um, so yeah, I will see you tomorrow um, for another episode of Shine. And um, yeah, be well, be awesome, be you, and enjoy your day. Um, so ciao, ciao. And <laughs> bye.